In previous episodes of Humboldt, I've showed guys like G. Atherton and Brendan Fairclaw how to improve their downhill skills. And I've even been in the gym with Richie Rude. Today, we're at the Walken Falls Pump Track, and I'm here with Jill Kintner. I think you're 47-time Crankworks queen of pump tracking and all that. Uh, not quite. But not yeah. quite. Today, she's going to show me how to pump track because in 2020, this is a world champ event. I think I might have a chance. You got master's class on lock. Master's class. Let's do this, Jill. All right. What the f***? All right, Jill, so we're here at the pump track. This thing looks super smooth. It looks like Imbo was here at the local dirt jumps and just smoothed everything out. There's no roots. What am I gonna learn here that's gonna help me on the trail? Um, well, basically, I think riding a hardtail teaches you a bunch of things about like your timing, your body position, and there's no like bike, crazy bike setup that like will hinder you in any which way. So it's like a very pure breakdown of skill, I think. Okay, skills that I could maybe apply on the trail. Yeah, I mean, pumping applies to every bit of trail. Like you want, there's like a little mound, you want to like pump it and get free speed. So this is, um, I don't know, it's fun. You can play, you can like come up with combinations. It's got cornering, pumps, like. Okay, so if you were to break it down, let's say we work on three skills here. You're going to try to make me good, at least acceptable. Yeah. What three main skills should I be concentrating on? I guess in the big picture, it'd be like pumping, cornering, can't do that. Can't and do then that. linking them together. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, and putting all of them together. Yeah, okay. you gotta put it together. Okay, so we're gonna, you're gonna teach me how to pump? Yeah. You're gonna teach me how to hit those corners hard? Maybe? <laughs> I'm gonna try. <laughs> you're gonna try, and then we're gonna put it all together, and we're gonna try to do a lap of the pump track. We'll see what happens. Yeah. First step before you go to the pump track, what's my first lesson? Learn how to do squats. <laughs> okay, show me what to do. Okay, so, the gist of pumping is that you want to keep your your feet fairly level most of the time and equally weighted. So um, I kind of think that like your hips need to stay centered over the bottom bracket to make that happen. So when we you know like lower and raise, mm -hmm. we want to keep our balance centered. So it's very it's very much like you know like the the neutral ready position that everyone teaches. So if you get on your bike and you like stand super tall locked out, mm -hmm. you'd be fairly centered on your bike already. Okay. Like because your feet wouldn't move or dip or anything. And then you add a slight bend in your elbows and your knees. And that's kind of where you'll return to anytime you pump or anything. That's home. Come back to neutral always. So you're centered on the bike, you feel good. And then as you're pumping, you'll keep your feet equally weighted and your hips just sink straight down with a deep bend in your elbows and your knees. Like your torso stays the same the bend in your in your waist stays the same and yep. you just sink your hips straight down. Okay, not moving back, not moving forward, you're going straight down. So the next step is timing basically. So um, like I said, you have your like, you always return to neutral and then you're in ready when like gravity will naturally like compress you a little bit if you think like a spring, spring yep. straight down, back up, like you kind of are like a piston working away. But when you're coming downhill, like you don't weight your body until your back axle crests the top of a roller and then you add the weight. And Pushing into the downhill. It should, it's mostly in your feet, but like you're kind of like using your body weight to drop, to accelerate. And then when you go up, like anything like uphill, you want to be light and unweight. So you kind of have, at the bottom, like you'll just kind of unweight your body as much as you can and then straight down again as soon as you press to the mound. So. You're storing energy and finding speed on those backsides. Ride that wave. Okay. But yeah, like the slower you go, the more exaggerated it will be. So we'll see if your timing's good. Okay. <laughs> I don't know, you got a little bit like off the back there. You were all... Too far back. I think so. Okay, so it looks like I got some room to improve. Jill, can you show me how it's done? So Jill, I watched you go through there and every roller, every corner, you just got faster and faster through there. <laughs> yeah. Whereas I think it felt like I was fighting it through there because it looks like my timing was off or yeah. what was going on? Yeah, you kind of like weren't all the way downhill to get that drive and acceleration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, like you gotta crest it and then it's free speed, right? You're going downhill. Yeah. So just like kind of like, like push down into it with yep. your hips, like your weight just drops. Yeah. 
and then you can get that like square root of acceleration. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. I'm going to try it one more time. I've seen Jill do it. We'll see if I can channel any of that. Get it, Levy. Crankwork speed. That was better. It was like definitely more with his with your feet, like you're using your leg energy. That felt like a lot more leg work. All right, Jill. I've clearly mastered pumping. <laughs> Can't improve any more on that. So the next thing we need to do is smash some corners. Yeah. We need to carry speed through those corners. We've got a nice tight berm here. What am I gonna do here, Jill? Yeah, I picked this one specifically for you because it's the tightest one out here, so we'll see. It definitely like carries you around if you do it well. So, yeah. Um, we'll see what you got first, but yeah, the key to most of these tight corners is really to like still keep your feet level and pick the right line and then like as it, it'll still compress you the same way that that does. It's just more now like on an angle. Like, yeah. You're kind of coming in if this is the berm, your body is kind of like at a more of a perpendicular. Mm -hmm. You're leaning right, you know? Yes. But it's it's really like you don't do that much. You just kind of let the gravity like compress you and then yeah. you use your legs and your eyes. Like okay. it's really like... Well, first. I'm really good at not doing much. <laughs> I mean, you use your legs the same way as you pump. It's just more of a diagonal like angle out of it, if yeah. that makes sense. Yeah. And so it's like compressed and then like you look like around the corner and through it. A corner like this, are you coming out of this corner faster than you would go into it? Uh, I break into it, yeah. Okay, and you're pumping out of it. The whole goal is to get speed out of the corner. <laughs> like you could be fast as you want into it, but you're gonna go over the top and through that fence probably. <laughs> it's almost it's like a tight you've, one. it's almost like she's seen me do this before. <laughs> I don't want to see you go through that fence. It's a nice. Ah! <laughs> What was going on that whole lap? Joe, I don't, none of that felt good to me, Joe, in that corner. We haven't putting it together yet. No. That's later. <laughs> no, I shouldn't try to put it together yet, should I? You saw me come through that corner right there. Tell me what I did right. Tell me what I did wrong. Yeah, I think your entrance speed was good. Like, you controlled your speed. Like, I could hear you braking, so maybe try and start. Out of fear. Yeah, I, I don't know, whatever. But it wasn't really, like, super bad. It's just you didn't follow through with your head and your eyes. Like, you looked, I was watching your eyes, and you looked straight down at your tire, and you didn't complete the turn no so if you like look like maybe you come come in a little slower yeah right, so you don't have to have like erratic braking <laughs> ah, panic. and you want to be off the brakes when you're in the middle under compression right like you're yeah. totally you break in a straight line and then you're off as soon as you hit that apex or change of direction but like look through the turn and look to where you want to go so. okay whoa was that any better? It was better, but you were just too low. You see this like kind of like dark spot in the turn? Yeah. You were like below that dark spot. So I have to be higher up again, make the turn wider. Well, yeah, I mean, you need to kind of like ride high and then drop low, like not, you were kind of like middle and then kind of made it happen, but it wasn't. Okay, so you want me to start higher, come through, okay. I mean, that's, that's so much better than when he started. Remember how off balance and you went over the edge there last, the first time? The other times it just felt like I was gonna tip to one side or not. And now it feels like I'm like pressing into the corner and I could just carry momentum and speed through it. Okay, so Jill has taught me how to pump these rollers. She's done a good job of teaching me in the corners and now I'm gonna put it all together and I'm gonna try to keep up with Jill around this pump track. We're gonna do a lap or two. I'm gonna try and stay on her wheel. Jill, there's no reason to go crazy. So not crank works. <laughs> I don't know, I love you, we'll see. Okay. All right, let's do it. <sighs> Jill, I think I got some work to do still. Where were you? I was a little bit behind you. I was only a couple feet behind you here and I was about 30 feet behind you here. Oh man. So I got some work to do, but I've gotten a lot better. Thanks for everything, Jill. Yeah, you have. Keep an eye out for me, 2020 Pump Track World Champs. Okay. You got Maybe. It. <laughs> Thanks again, Jill. Okay.